replacing the oil in your lawnmower, it's really a simple maintenance task. It should be performed at least once a year. Changing the oil really just consists of draining the old oil out of the mower, replacing the oil filter if your machine has one, and then replacing the old oil with new. And we'll show you how to do all that now. The first thing you want to do is start the lawnmower and let it run for maybe two or three minutes. That will heat up the oil in the, in the engine and just make it flow easier when we go to drain it. So I'll go ahead and do that now. start draining the oil. The first thing we want to do is clean up the area around the dipstick. This is both where we're going to drain the oil and fill the oil. So we don't want any debris there that's going to get back into our engine. So I'm just going to use my air compressor, a little bit of compressed air, and blow this area off real thoroughly. Just like that. Now I'll go ahead and remove the dipstick. Like I said, on most small walk-behind lawnmowers like this, you drain the oil out of the same location as you fill it. Some lawnmowers may have a separate drain lower, but most of them will be just like this. To drain it, I'm just going to tip the lawnmower onto its side and drain the oil into this uh, old transmission pan. You could use any type of a suitable pan to drain that oil into. So I'll tip the mower over now. Now we'll go ahead and change the oil filter. As I mentioned before, most 21 inch mowers like this don't usually have an oil filter, but some do. As you can see, mine uses one, and we'll show you how to replace that now. I have a little plastic cup I like to use to place underneath the oil filter. The oil filter is still going to have a little bit of oil in it, and we don't want that to spill over the mower so that cup will catch it. Now I can twist the filter off. comes out oil. Pull the filter out. And I'll set it aside and remove my cup. like that. Now we're ready to go ahead and replace the oil in the mower. Of course, I need to put a new filter on first, so I'll do that now. To install the new filter, first I'm going to take a little bit of my motor oil, just put a little bit on my finger, and put a fine coat of that oil around the gasket or the seal on the oil filter. That will ensure a good seal on my mower when I replace it. Now we can just screw that right back onto the mower. To replace it, I just spin it on until it touches the, the plate that it seals against, and then give it an additional about a half turn. About like that. And that's all it takes. That doesn't need to be super tight. If you get that too tight now, it's going to be very difficult to remove it when it's time to change it next time. And as far as the filter goes, that's it. Now it's time to replace the oil in the mower. You can use any brand of automotive type oil you want to use. The brand's not important. Also, many of the engine manufacturers make their own oil, and those oils will work great as well. As far as which oil to use, most lawnmower engines are going to use either a 30 weight oil or a 10W30 weight. Today I'm using a 10W30. 
your owner's manual that came with your mower ought to tell you which oil to use. We'll go ahead and add that to the mower now. I like to use a plastic funnel to keep from making a mess. Your manual will tell you exactly how much oil to put in your machine. But of course, the engine's dipstick will be the final determining factor in how much to use. As I fill the mower, I like to periodically stop and just check with the dipstick the actual level of the oil. What I'm doing is kind of creeping up to the final level. You can see I'm just about there. We just need a little bit more. Another bit of information you'll find in your owner's manual is how to use the dipstick. Believe it or not, not all dipsticks are the same. In the case of my Kawasaki engine, I check the oil with the dipstick not screwed into the filler. Some engines you will screw it into the filler to get the correct uh, level of oil. So you'll want to make sure before you take a reading that you know how your machine works. And that's good right there. It's full and ready to go. I'll just replace the dipstick. And now my lawnmower is ready for another season of cutting grass.